Hey everybody, welcome back to the good old Southern IA. My name is Ben and this week I've been taking all you guys along with me, kind of showing the things that I do during the off season. And all week I've been saying that we're gonna be cutting hedge posts for a fencing project, and today it's actually happening. So since my father's got some of his mojo back today, we're gonna to go cut some hedge posts for a fencing project on a piece of property that butts a cattle pasture. Ooh. Ah. Uh. And the reason we are cutting the hedge post is so that we don't have to go buy corner posts and brace posts, things of those natures. Um, we are not actually doing the fencing project. The guy that is really kind of wanted to redo this fence, he's got a higher guy that's going to put the fence in for him or, and for us, but we have to supply our half of the material. Eyeball protection. Hearing protection. And since we are going to be cutting trees and sticks and discarding things all day and uh, this here blue healer thinks that every single time that you pick up a stick you're going to throw it for him and he'll bring it right back to you or try to have tug of war he's going to hang out with Wayne. Plus I think it's going to be all around a little bit safer for him. So basically I've got to get the pallet forks put back onto the gooseneck trailer, um, get this thing started up and hooked up to the gooseneck trailer then head to actually my house where we're going to be cutting the hedge post. like an Eskimo it's actually quite cold outside today when I got up this morning I think it was about seven degrees and it's maybe supposed to get up to like 22 and that's Fahrenheit for my Canadian friends but let's get down the road and let's go get to the hedge trees So why do we do hedge trees? Well, hedge trees are an extremely hard wood, and I mean, they, they won't rot when you put them in the ground. They are no fun to cut whatsoever. They like to have prickly bits on them. They kind of grow in like a bush style deal, as in they don't grow tall and straight. So you got to really cut a lot of tree to get like a good like length of post, which my dad just yelled, and which you guys might've heard, he wanted 10 foot corners and nine foot uh, brace brace or line posts so what i gotta look at is try and find a straight run which that's got a kink in it the middle one's probably got one in there but to get to that i gotta push this stuff out of there because when you're chainsawing on stuff the last thing you want to be doing is tripping over things but hedge posts are easily identifiable they really got kind of an interesting looking bark on them they've got this style bark but the inside of the tree it's got a very distinct yellow. I don't know if it's called the heart or the flesh of the tree, but it's definitely yellow. You can see it all over me, and I can actually see it all over you guys, all over the GoPro. Let's move some of these tree limbs. Uh, 
uh, did my way a little bit. Right there. Right there. Yep. said he's got the number that we need of each in his truck. I wonder where that is. Fence and tile plans. I'm not sure I can decipher his plans there. We're just going to cut until he says stop. So that's kind of how we get this tree down here. Um, so the bottom of it will be a corner, which means it's like the corner of the fence line at the end of the fence line. So the bottom you'll get a corner and a brace post out of, and then maybe a line post. And then if you're looking at it in the tree, right here would be a good corner or a brace post going up there. There might be a line post in there, line post in there. Um, that's got a pretty good curve in it, but we could probably get something out of that. And we can definitely probably get something out of this one here too. Oh, Dad ran out of gas and then uh, needed some help here. So dad's continuing the cut. I've been pushing the brush down there into that pile and cleaning up from behind us. The hard part of what he's doing right now is when there's a bunch of tree limbs in there like that, you can't tell what tree limbs actually supporting the weight of the main branch. And when you cut through it, your saw can get pinched every now and then. And it's probably happened to him like twice or so now. So I'm just sitting here kind of waiting for that to happen or for him to tell me to push the brush away. That way you can continue to pull the post out like what he's about to do right now. There you go, it's another post. He thinks we're getting pretty close to what we need, which is music to my ears. So I'm gonna clean this up here a little bit, push the tree limbs out of the way, and then we'll probably take a count on how many posts we have. It's really the fence that we're putting in is really not that big of a fence, so we don't need that many posts, I guess you could say. This is a hefty lady. Stay on there. Well guys, there it is. The trees have been cut down. Uh, everything is now on the trailer, strapped on there. We believe we've got the posts that we need. We will find out though when the time comes. Cleaned everything up. Got to push down in there to the pile. Really, it kind of makes you want to clean the rest of this up because there's probably a good 20 feet there that the limbs have started to grow out, grow out, grow out. 
and you hit those on the bean head sprayer everything along those lines this tree line needs to be cleaned up but thanks for hanging out with me again here today guys and we'll see you tomorrow <laughs> green tractor is kind of a joke everybody knows real men drive orange ones